Hey, welcome back to another video, folks. Back on Sling Mountain today. It is lush outside, properly nice, super warm, proper bank holiday weather that we can't really get out and enjoy properly, but hey ho, we can get in the garden or whatever. Hopefully you can go for a bike ride or a dog walk or something. I'm gonna make this short and sharp today. I'm really gonna try hard to do that because I wanna do this indoors and then go straight back outdoors. I'm gonna take the laptop out, I'm gonna do my little bit of editing out there uh, and just enjoy some sun rays. You've got to take some pleasure out of this uh, sort of difficult uh, situation, haven't you? So I'm going to do that exactly just that. Today's video, you've seen the title, it is going to be all about slightly alternative ways of equalizing bits of gear, okay? Some of these I never use, some of these I rarely use, none of them do I use regularly. Uh, some I don't use regularly because I'm just not a massive fan and I'll explain sort of briefly why. Others, the opportunity just doesn't present itself very often. I'd use it all the time maybe if I could, but it just doesn't lend itself to it. So let's start with the rope. Um, and I'm going to do this one and I get a few messages about this one actually, which is cool. I'm, I'm always, um, always keen to hear from people. Uh, so I'm going to tie a knot in here. It's going to be a bunny ears knot. So a bunny ears knot is like a figure of eight. And normally you'd just pull that massive bite through, wouldn't you? So you'd end up with a regular figure eight. But this time, we're going to loop that loop over everything. Okay? And pull in. And make sure that sits nice and neatly down there. So we've just dress that properly now. You know what I'm like with that. I'm not going to fully tighten it yet because I might need to do some adjustment in a minute. But you end up with a knot that looks very similar to a figure of eight, but it's got a bonus strand. And you've got two ears coming out from it. So this is good, I can equalise these two bits of gear. I'm going to do that up, I've said before, don't want to get in trouble on the internet. I just, I'd be disappointed in myself if I let my standards slip to not doing carabiners up, poor show, isn't it? I got lucky there, it's kind of equalised pretty good, isn't it? Can now dress that knot up properly, get him all firmed up. That's kind of a nice length of tail, perfectly safe, isn't it? I don't feel like it's too long that it's going to get in the way. If you felt it was too long, it's going to get in the way, maybe do a stopper in there, but I'm happy with that. Why don't I like it? I find it a little bit faffy to adjust within here, right? Now, you end up, or I end up, if I was doing this method, adjusting it at the anchors, and that's fine, right? So say this one was a bit short and I wanted to tie it up. You've got a couple of options. You could just do a wrap in there, that's okay. If you wanted to take up a bit more, maybe more wraps, they start to sort of twist a bit funny and stuff, and just, I like to paint clear pictures, you know, I'm like, so I could do a clovich and that would take up some slack out of the out of the loop, wouldn't it? It's just not as, I just don't find it as sort of as simple as it could be. You're kind of confusing matters with this knot up here or any adjustment. So if it works, it's really clear and simple, isn't it? Let's evolve it into a slightly different method, but it's quite similar, right? Um, and again, it's not one I use regularly, but it's perfectly safe and, and some people love it. So, you know, who am I to argue if they like it and it works in that situation, then great. And that's the key, isn't it? Do you see something myself punch me in the stomach then? Um, if it works and it's safe and it's simple and all that kind of stuff, then great. Let's tie a figure of eight in there. Again, dress it, but not. I'm not gonna fully dress it yet because I might need to adjust it. And I've ended up with like a massive loop there. And I'm going to treat that as a sling, basically. So I'm going to clove it into this anchor. I'm not going to do it, again, dress it properly yet, because I might need to adjust it. I will need to adjust it, I think, looking at that. Same with this one. Clove it into there, do him up. And then I can do my adjusting. So I've left this bit of slack in between the two, because that means they're independent. But this one needs to be a bit longer, so I'm going to take some of that slack out. There we go. And now, oh, there we go. Just get that snugged up. There we go. So that's still slack. That's key. This can just have any adjustment that it needs down here. But there we go. I've got another set of anchors again. If that, I think that's kind of okay for me. If I wanted to get rid of it, I'd do a stopper in there. But I'm happy with that. I could abseil off this, couldn't I? Right, that'd be good. I could make a PowerPoint out of it do something with that, whether that's clipping into belay or, or whatever. So that was quite quick and simple, wasn't it? Is it as quick and simple as using a sling? Is it as clear if, from a teaching point of view as using a sling? Hey, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Again, it's just down to personal choice, isn't it? I don't teach these things from the get-go. I'd rather teach with a sling 
or with the rope doing you know uh, out of reach anchors and all that kind of stuff or just what I would call more textbook setups because I find them a bit clearer and then you can that just makes it easier to teach the principles of like equalized independent angle or serene or ideas whichever method you're going to choose and then if you want to you could evolve them into these working on an RCI course or something or a learn to lead kind of course I, I wouldn't introduce these things if someone did them then great we can chat about it but not something I personally teach as standard but that doesn't mean you can't right okay so that's it for the rope there's a million other slightly different ways obviously that you can equalize stuff with a rope but that's the only two I'm going to show you right now now I've got the board out today my little sport uh, anchor board it's not because I'm, I'm not doing any sport stuff today but I can slot some nuts in and stuff like that which is handy so around the corner is a nut and actually I can slide that in there that's handy so that's a, a sinker number 10 nut right there and I've got these uh, one of these out uh, these are the totem basic cams look how wobbly they are they're great they're all really flexible nice soft metal oh, they're lovely to use don't make them anymore sadly I think they had an issue with the machining I think um, but anyway that just about if I'm careful can slot like says, there you go into there so what have I got now? Hey, that's quite cool, isn't it? If I'm pulling off in this direction down here, I've equalised two bits of kit. What might I do with there? What might I do there? What might I do with that? Would be a better way of saying it, wouldn't it? Actual English. I could now use that as a, a master point carabiner, couldn't I? I could clip into that, belay off it, whatever. I really like that. The trouble is you just don't get the option to do it very often because uh, things don't lend themselves to it quite so much. The nice thing with a cam sometimes, right, is if you've got it in that perfect parallel crack, sometimes you get a bit of an option of where to put it. So you can put it up here and go, oh, it's not quite equalised and slide it down a bit. And, oh, it works perfectly there and it's still nice and safe and cammed perfectly and all that kind of thing. But that's a nice simple little, kind of like a belay hack, that one. That's like a, a modern phrase, isn't it? You could have a little win as well if you use these extendable sling ones because you could place that and then okay it doesn't quite work there but you pull it down and maybe it does work when it's extended so you could do a really similar thing and get that perfectly uh, equalized like that that'd be ace wouldn't it it's the same again really this doesn't happen very often that could be two nuts as well right in the in the crack it's what have you not got from those kind of things you haven't got much angle and stuff like that so maybe if you did get that arrangement, that might form two parts of a three-point anchor, and you can link those two together with your carabiner or whatever, and then have your third bit and do a normal sling setup, something along those lines, right? Uh, it could be that you um, have a slightly different method. Let's have a look at this one, see if I can make this work somehow. Let's get this uh, cam placed up here in sling mounting. Now, this is not a how-to how to place a cam please don't ever place one like that if I'm using on a belay I'd normally not extend it by default right and I'm going to get my sling from round the back there I could clip that in and I could do my normal kind of uh, equalizing there how can I haven't got loads of sling to play with so one little neat thing you can possibly do is tie a knot in here get your screw gate if you've got a screw gate isn't it click them in that's not doing anything yet is it so if i loaded that it's only loading the nut so what i'd have to do here is roll that overhand up a bit maybe to about there let's try that hey there we go perfect that's now equalized so that can just stay out of the way can't it and that could become my master point carabiner or two parts linked to the, a bigger system so it's just a slightly different way of doing it, isn't it? I, I like these ideas of just having a few little, uh, you know, tools in a toolbox and all that. Uh, it might save you some kit. It, it might just work in that particular situation. You could even do this with maybe a sling drawer or something like that. That might work really well, mightn't it? Hey, so there you go. There's just a few little options there. Hey, as usual, put in the comments if you've got some little uh, top tips of little belay hacks or whatever that you like or slightly alternative ways of doing things let us know and chuck a link in as well I'm, I'm always learning from these videos and things as well what people are firing back at me it's ace isn't it but it's like i say it's just nice to have these different options and 
you need to have that basic understanding first, I think, to go and look at, say, this, for example, and go, hey, that's not quite what I'd normally see, but does it tick the right boxes? Equalised, independent, creating an angle. Well, yes, it is. And if you've got that base understanding, then you, you're winning, aren't you, really? So there you go. Let me know any top tips of your own in the comments, like I say. Uh, and do fire away with any questions, as always, right? Find us on Insta, find us on Facebook, you know the score about that. Hit the like button, smash the subscribe button if you haven't already. Massively appreciative of you all watching again. Absolutely awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the video. More videos coming up very soon. Yeah.